Hey collective, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today I'm going to do your mid-weekly quick read. Now keep in mind, because this is a general reading, it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And if you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you are doing well. So when I first started my channel, I was doing mid-weekly quick reads. And that's just whatever messages um, throughout the week that may pop up because every single Sunday between seven and eight o'clock, I always post the general love readings for all the signs. But initially, like I said, I was doing the midweekly quick weeks, but then I got busy with my novel and things like that. But I do want to return to it because I do, I'm noticing lately that I've been channeling a lot of messages and it's meant for me to put those messages out there. So I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. So every Wednesday and every Sunday I will be posting. So you guys can look forward to that. On Wednesday, I haven't decided what time I'm going to post it. Possibly around 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock as well. For some reason, those are hours that work best for me, right? And then again, on Sundays, for all signs, I do the general love readings, okay? So just like the regular readings, when I meditated with you guys' energy, I heard a song. And the song was Free Yourself by Fantasia. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, after I heard that song, I, as always, I always ask the universe, okay, what message is it that I'm meant to relay to the collective? And I literally heard the phrase, it all begins with a phone call. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm getting two ways that this is going to resonate for quite a few of you all. This definitely is going to have to do with your place of employment and then also as far as your love life, okay? Now, typically when I do the channel messages, I get the sun and the moon, you know, as your major arcanas and then I get clarifiers for it. But with this, with the mid-weeklies, I'm just going to shuffle and whatever two cards flip out, those are the cards that we're going to get clarifiers for, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you when I did your pre-shuffle, right? You guys know often I'm guided to look at the back of the card so we can see what messages I need to um, tune into. And this is your general energy deck. And look what you got right here. I'm going to say this again. For some of you all, it's definitely having to do with love. Someone, someone that you're very passionate about, but you feel as though I might have to let this person go. Okay. Um, and then definitely with your finances. For a lot of you all, it's definitely going to have to do with finances. Now, the message that I got with this very strongly when it comes to the finances, I literally heard, okay, it all begins with a phone call. Somebody is getting reported. I keep hearing uh, HR, like somebody's going to report some type of fraudulent activity, some type of abuse from possibly a superior. And even though the hermit is not, you know, someone who's known to abuse their power or authority, this does seem like a wise man or woman, someone who has been in a position for a while, someone, you know, they have years on this job. Um, they may have some power or, or dominion over certain situations. Cause if you notice it, he has his lantern lit and he's headed, he's facing in the direction of his queen of pentacles. But if you notice his eyes are closed and his head is down and right in front of him, there's a snake. So there's some type of deception here and snakes are not always about deception, but there is some type of deception I'm getting. You got two strong female energies here. You could be a male figure watching, but somehow a female figure could really play a role in this situation. Okay. Um, I'm really getting very strongly <laughs> when it comes to finances, somebody is going to be checking somebody about how they're playing with their money. Okay. It could be that somebody is not calculating your hours appropriately and your checks are being short or someone said that you didn't clock in at a certain time. Also, I'm going to say again, you feel as though somebody is playing with your stability when it comes to your finances and you ain't going to play none of that shit. Okay. Now, I always tell you guys, anytime you have cards where the characters have hoods on or face shields or something that's obscuring your vision from seeing their full identity clearly, it's something hidden. So somebody could be calling like some type of hotline, you know, like not directly stating who they are. Because I know there's a lot of workplaces where they have a hotline where you can call and not give your identity so you can avoid retaliation from your employer. So somebody could be doing that. But I feel like somebody's temper may be, get the better of them. And even though they may not directly say something, it's going to come back to them. Whatever the case, it does not matter because it seems like this person is in the wrong. Because if you see how his head is down, almost like this person is ashamed of themselves, that could play a role also, okay? You could be dealing with a Leo, Sag, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individual, okay? Strong Taurus, um, I'm being guided. Something with Taurus season. Also, somebody may be up for... A promotion in tourist season, but they may feel like they're being looked over because it's like they have what it takes because this lantern is lit. This, they, you know, they've already started along their path on their journey. On their journey, 
but they're being overlooked. Or there could be somebody who is trying to compete with them because you do have two queens here. And if you notice, their backs are facing each other. So there could be two people competing. There could be gossip in the workplace because I did get in your pre-shuffle the five of wands. There's conflict, arguments, disagreements, and could also be gossip amongst peers. Now, when it comes to love, also there could be two people, male or female. There could be two people who are invested or involved in one specific person. And somebody's going to have to make a decision between two different people. And it may be going towards the direction of the person who has strong earth sign placements in their chart. Okay. So I'm just going to tuck these in here randomly. If we get them again, we are meant to get those cards. But if not, that's not the case. Okay. We're going to change the cards at the top and the bottom of the deck. I always do this so you guys can know that I don't choose the cards. I don't see the cards until you see them. And we'll do the same with your general energy. Okay. So now currently at the bottom of the deck, you, somebody is being sneaky the way they're going about stuff. I'm telling you right now, because you had two hooded figures and now you have someone who has a complete face shield. We can't see who this person looks like. So remember when I said it all begins with a phone call. Again, this could be gossip and then also somebody could be snitching on somebody. Okay. I just really want you to see this energy. And I feel like it's all going to come to the surface. You see how you have those sparks coming out there? It's all going to come to the surface. For some of you all, this could be happening in Aries season, which is up at the Pisces season. Could be involving a Sagittarius individual, okay? Because this is the card of Sagittarius. Doesn't just have to be. Just putting it out there. Could be Leo and, like I said, Aries as well. But I feel like this is going to happen soon, okay? I feel like this is going to happen in Aries season, okay? Because I feel like it's, it's so much. There was such a buildup. That somebody can't hold it back anymore, okay? But I feel, again, I'm going to say someone's doing it in a sneaky way. But I feel like their temper is going to get the better of them, okay? The Knight of Wands is um, fast moving. Typically, playboy, playgirl, here for a good time, not a long time, in and out, hot and cold. But this also could be someone who is very restless and they're already ready to, like, take on the world, literally. Because knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. This person is clearly ready to go into battle. So somebody is pissed off some type of treatment that they have received or that they feel they deserve and they haven't received. But there's there's an energy of anger, anger overflowing. You see what I'm saying? You see how even here you have lava coming out right up under here. You got two of pentacles. Yeah, somebody's not happy. On the outside, they're playing like they are because you see how he's under that rainbow. But I'm, I'm going to say again, somebody feels like you're playing with their money. Or you feel like somebody's playing with your money. And then also, I'm going to say again, when it comes to relationships, you got a ship right here. Relationships being struck by lightning. Somebody has to choose between two people. And this person, it, this could be you, but this person could be seen as a playboy or playgirl. Somebody is, let's just put it this way. There's two people involved with somebody because you see how he's in the middle. Again, this could apply to a female. This person has to choose between two different people and they don't know who they want to set roots with. Because Pentacles is earth setting the roots, setting a solid foundation. Somebody needs to make a decision. But at the moment, somebody's being a playboy or a playgirl. I can tell you that right now. And then also, I'm going to say again, somebody is playing with somebody's money or somebody feels as though you're playing um, their employment is being played with. Now, with the song Free Yourself by Fantasia, I feel like there's a decision, especially when it comes to, um, well, both of them with the relationship and the place of employment. Somebody's going to have to make a decision if they're going to leave this place of employment if things are not becoming balanced. Because if you see one pinnacle is higher than the other, if things do not become balanced, somebody may be going in a different direction, traveling elsewhere, taking their talents to a different place. And as far as relationship, like I said, somebody's going to, I feel like somebody's going to be getting an ultimatum. Either you're going to stop playing, you know, playing a field and choose me or this person or make up your mind, something like that. And I could already <laughs> see the comments in the comment section. Like, look, if, if you deal with somebody else, choose them. I feel you, but I do feel like for some of you all, there's a lot invested because pentacles hold value investments. There's a lot invested in a situation for somebody out there. Okay. So let's go ahead and shuffle. And again, whatever two cards flip out, those are cards we're going to be clarifying because again, this is just a quick read for the midweek. So let's get a card. Ooh, did you see how that flipped out? Ooh, wait, look at that. Five of swords, arguments, conflicts, disagreements. And look at that. There's one, two people. Somebody's going to have to choose somebody. Even where his sword is, there's two stars. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you definitely have Libra right here with the Justice card. I'm telling you right now, this is definitely making me think about the energy that we picked up initially. Some of you all could be married to this person. 
Um, also, somebody just wants a fair and true, um, somebody wants fair treatment, especially when it comes to the workplace. This could be contracts. This could be, I'm also picking up that somebody, de yeah, because I'm getting, if you look at this, I'm hearing play chess, not checkers. You know that saying where it's like, make the make your next move the best move is what I'm getting. And then also somebody, because you see, there's two. And that's not what this means. I'm just telling you what I'm picking up intuitively. You guys know I read intuitively. There's two different, I'm seeing game boards here. So there's two different players and then you have two scales. I'm telling you, something is about balance here. Something needs to be balanced, okay? That's why you have scales there. And something is not balanced. And um, some of you guys need to definitely balance your yin and yang energy. If you notice that here, your feminine and masculine energy. Because something, the equilibrium could be off. And that's what two is about, balance the equilibrium. Equilibrium. Also, I'm going to tell you right now, somebody feels like they have been overlooked when it comes to like some type of promotion, some type of increase. Because if you notice, she's her dress is gold and all this energy is gold and gold is the energy of abundance. So somebody feels like they have they have been overlooked or they're not being considered for something that they are deserving of. I'm getting that also. And I'm going to say again, when it comes to love, somebody does not know who they are going to choose. There's two different players here in this situation that someone has to decide between, okay? Bottom of the deck, I'm telling you, dance with the devil. You got those two different people, and you're starting off with Major Arcana, so this is going to be a big to-do, right? You have the devil, Capricorn energy right here, and I'm going to say again, somebody's not seeing something. She's blindfolded, right? And then right here, you can't see his eyes. You guys know the eyes are the gateways to the soul. So when somebody, you can't see their eyes, you can't read their energy, there's something hidden. There's some some secrets here. Definitely could have to do with money because you see how you have this huge pinnacle in the background. Somebody just wants fairness in a, in a workplace situation. And also, I'm going to tell you because the devil is somebody who is a manipulator. The devil also can control things. So this could be a person in a position of leadership who is fucking with somebody's money. Okay? I'm really getting that because you see how behind him... How big that pinnacle is. Somebody has some type of say-so over somebody's finances. There definitely could be two people competing for a position as well. And I'm going to say again, you know, because this also could be karmic soulmates, karmic energy here. Somebody feels bound and somebody's dancing with the devil. In other words, some, ty some type of temptation in a situation. Okay. So second card for the collective for the mid-weekly reading. Okay. I didn't flip out. You guys know I'm going to take the cards to flip out. Okay. And you have Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, first of all, you have two very strong female figures. And we started off with two strong female figures. So, there's definitely some feminine energy here. I'm also going to tell you that I'm getting that somebody could definitely be in their feelings. Also, check this out. You have the two scales here, no? She's in between two dogs. Dogs talk about loyalty and companionship. She has her back to one, and then her cup is extended and offered in another direction. So, I'm going to say again, somebody has to choose a person... Uh, between two different people. And if you look at it, somebody is definitely going to be hurt here. Because if you look at this dog, it looks like his eyes are kind of pouting. Like he's sad about the situation. And this one is more alert. In a love relationship, somebody's going to make a final decision about who they're going to move forward with. And keep in mind, we are in Piscean season right now. So this could happen in Piscean season. You know that ends March 20th. Um, but then also, again, a queen is someone who has a position of hierarchy nobility notoriety they are leaders okay you don't tell a king or queen what to do they give the rules and things like that so somebody could be accepting some type of offer or somebody can be given some type of offer over another person okay somebody could be given this offer in pisces season i feel like for some of you all let's see what's at the bottom eight of swords someone who feels trapped mental entrapment feels bound i always tell you guys sort of yes sword down no these swords are down so someone feels as though things are not going in their favor. And I can't say this enough. You keep having all these blindfolded people or where the eyes are concealed or there's something hidden. Somebody doesn't see how they can maneuver out of a situation. Also, remember I was saying earlier on, if someone is calling like some type of hotline and they're doing it secretly, they don't want to get stuck with some type of retaliation. They feel like if they say, if they just come straight out and confront this person or do some type of report on this team lead or manager or somebody like that, somebody in leadership, that they may get demoted in some way or they're going to be stuck in that present position because, you know, 
they reported them or something like that. Somebody is really fearing retaliation is what I'm getting, okay? Bottom of the deck, absolutely. So you have the five of cups, okay? Fears, worries, concerns, sadness, sorrow, grief. You have three cups spilt over. Again, somebody's going to find out about a third party with a relationship. And something is going to end, but you have two of cups behind them. And the two of cups is a soulmate union. So a third party situation has to come to an end. And somebody's going to choose their person overall is what I'm getting. Somebody's going to choose a specific person that they want to be in. Two is a big, big theme here. And that's about balance. And two is the number of couples. You know, that's, that's, that's that vibration also. So let's part the deck so we can shuffle. The high priestess. You or your person's first, middle, or last initial could be B, T, J, M, W, C, or H. B, T, J, C, W, M, or H. You do have Piscean energy right here with the High Priestess. So like I said, even with this Queen of Cups, something's going down in Pisces season. Some of you can already sense that something is getting ready to shake, okay? Um... I keep seeing somebody getting reported. I'm going to be honest with you because if you see how right here she has the scroll. And look at her face. She looks very serious about something. With that scroll right there, it's giving me the vibe that somebody has been keeping receipts. Like somebody has been keeping notes, documenting things. Also, if somebody is getting written up or somebody is fearful because this is a person who's in leadership and power also. Somebody is fearful, okay? Somebody is fearful that if they go and report somebody, then this person is going to try to trump up things on them, paperwork, say, oh, you were late on this day, or oh, you called off this many days, just to keep them from moving forward, okay? So let's get a clarifier for the Justice card and the Queen of Cups for the collective midweekly reading. Yeah, somebody's definitely in their head. You just had the Eight of Swords, now you had a Nine of Swords, Sleepless Night, somebody's just really thinking, overthinking the situation, or feeling as though, like I said, they can't see their way out of this situation, very unhappy because if yeah wow okay look at that you got the four of cups unhappy with what they're being given and then feeling stuck you got two cards of feeling stuck and that's a major arcana and this is piscean energy again so for a lot of you guys like i said this is going to play out before pisces season wraps up Woo, yes ma'am yes ma'am yes sir the moon upright things hidden things unknown things we do not have clarity about in reverse something is coming to the light and for a lot of you all it's going to allow you to have some type of final peace okay it could, I'm also getting that for some of you all, if you feel like somebody is being antagonistic towards you or picking on you or just fucking with you, you may find out that there's others who feel the same way and they're going to report some type of team lead or manager. Somebody's getting reported. And I feel like this person doesn't see it coming. Somebody's getting reported, I can tell you that. Bottom of the deck, you got the world card. Again, somebody is fearing that they're not going to be able to move forward. And then also in a relationship where there's too many parties involved, someone is being released, okay, um, with the world card. That's major arcana, so that's a definite energy. You got Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and also Scorpio energy here. Upright, one cycle is ended, so another cycle can begin. And in this present position, there's like a continuation. So for some of you all, if you are dealing with someone and there's another person involved, this is somebody from this person's past. This is not a new person. This is someone that this person has not completely detached from is what I'm getting here. And that's why these, these two dogs are so close to her. They're close, loyal companions because they have history with this person. Again, male or female, you would know how to supply us, but you do have some strong feminine energy here, okay? So let's get a clarifier for the justice card. That one want to flip all out. Yep, and I like that because you remember you just had the Eight of Swords just a few minutes ago up, right? Somebody's finding their way out of some type of mental entrapment. Definitely could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong Libra. But also in Aquarius season, some type of clarity could have came to someone. And then also mentally, somebody's feeling like it's finally time for them to just go ahead and step out and speak their truth or, you know, confront a situation because they don't want to feel bound and stuck to a situation any longer, either in a home situation because you have a castle in the background or a work situation, okay? Somebody feels bound and trapped and they want to get out of this situation. They want to get out of being in a miserable work environment and, and they want to get out of being confused about who they want to be with long term because somebody's ready to settle down, okay? Because anytime you have a king or queen, they were born, you know, with, with companions and partners in mind, you know, because of their regal... Um, lineage and things like that so somebody knows that they're ready to settle down but they were just having a hard time deciding who bottom of the deck absolutely somebody's offering some i'm telling you somebody's offering she's already offering this cup 
somebody's offering something stable. And I'm going to say again, when it comes to your money, your place of employment, somebody's going to be saying, I know for a fact that it's time for me to have some type of wage increase, some type of, um, you know, something where more money should be offered. Or somebody may be trying to apply for a position where the pay is more. And also, I'm going to say again, if, if some funds or if something was being withheld financially, I feel like it's coming in for you. And I know around this time, people's taxes and things are coming in. I feel like if like just when you thought like, okay, I might have to wait another week or something like that for your taxes to come, you may look into your account and get some type of direct deposit. And it's going to be a nice amount. Something that's going to help you off offset some of your um financial debts or something like that is what I'm getting. Okay. Let's get a clarifier for the Queen of Cups for the collective. Clarifier for the Queen of Cups. Yeah, love and finance is going to be a big to-do during this time. I feel like I've seen something flip up. Okay. Clarify for the Queen of Cups for the collective. I really feel like for Pisces season, before Pisces season wraps up, there's going to be a lot of, yep, there's going to be an ending. Somebody, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of things coming into the light, okay? So you have the death card, major icon of a Scorpio. But like I said, somebody's getting left behind because the death card is a definite ending. That's major arcana, again, definite energy. Um, and it's also transformation and rebirth. So I feel like someone is going from a smaller position to getting some type of position of um, leadership is what I'm getting. And if you notice, they're going in the same direction. So this is something that was destined and faded. Some, and also, something had to end. Something had to end in order for something brand new to start. Something had to end. Um, also, I'm, and this is for some of you all, because the Queen of Cups is a mother figure here. And if you look at her stomach, it almost looks like she's pregnant. Some of you all could be finding out that you're pregnant. And for others, it could be that you, because you're in a position of leadership, that's a queen, someone who's in leadership. The children, a home life, you may feel like is suffering. Somebody's grades could be failing, because I'm hearing that very clearly also. And then somebody is missing you. Like, if you have a child who was, like, literally joint at your hip, because that's what this is, loyalty here, companionship, this child could really be missing you. Because if you get a position that regards you to have more tasks, um, uh, more things that you have to do, you may be away from home more, and your home life may be suffering for it. There's one child specifically who could be having a really difficult time because even look here. See how that dog's eyes are sad, like pouting? And then you have this child right here pouting. You know, it's an energy that somebody could be, somebody's child could be having a very difficult time. Even if, because like, she's at home, right? So let's say, for instance, you've been working from home for a while and you are returning back to the actual place of employment. This could really be having an effect on your home life. And one child specifically is not feeling it at all. Also, some of you all, because this is just making me think about the hair font. Some of you all could be married to a Taurus or your partner could be a Taurus. You could have strong Taurus placements in your chart as well. But also for this child, it's like the, the death, the ending of, you know, their bonding. So you may have a child who is literally like codependent since you've been working from home. If a lot of you all are still in that place. And I'm going to say again, as far as a relationship, somebody is definitely ending a situation with someone and they're choosing another person. It could be if you were dating someone, you could be going back to a person that you have children with or a child with. Whatever the case, there's definitely some type of ending and somebody is being chosen over another one. And then for those of you who have something to say in regards to mistreatment in the workplace i feel like it's going to go on your favor so you can get out of your head about that because i feel like it's going to go on your favor and this person's going to be called on their shit is what i'm getting okay so thank you so much collective for watching queen airbender tarot until next time take care and be well bye